Hey, this is Mel from the Cert Manager project. Cert Manager solves certificate automation for Kubernetes and OpenShift. Since the last KubeCon, we have greatly decreased the memory footprint of Cert Manager deployments. Importantly, we're targeting CNCF graduation and we have started the process of getting a security audit via the CNCF. We have also released our first long-time support version of Cert Manager in 1.12. We're committed to supporting it for a longer period of time thanks to ongoing sponsorship of maintainer time from Benefy. In 1.12, you can now read logs in JSON and use Hashicorp Vault without any secret. We also introduced issuer lib, which makes it easier to create your own external issuer. Come visit us at the Cert Manager booth and grab your own physical certificates. Have a great KubeCon! Hello, KubeCon NA. Build packs generate an OCI image directly from your source code. Cloud Native Build Packs is a CNCF incubating project that maintains a specification for build packs and some tools to use them. On screen, you can see our pack tool generating an image from a source project consisting of a Go service with a React front end. There are multiple implementations of the Cloud Native Build Pack specification, and our vibrant ecosystem allows you to choose the set of build packs that suit your development processes. KPAC is now a Build Packs community project. KPAC is a battle tested Kubernetes operator that monitors source repositories and generates images on every change. We are extremely grateful to VMware for donating KPAC to the Cloud Native Build Packs project. Also, Check out BuildPacks extensions, which are the missing link between BuildPacks and Docker files. You can find more information at buildpacks.io. Hi, my name is Victor. I'm a developer advocate at Upbound, the major contributor behind the CNCF project Crossplane. Crossplane is a project or a framework designed to build opinionated cloud native control planes that you can use to manage well everything. It is built on top of Kubernetes and it is CNCF project. It enables us to build our own opinionated services through cross-plane compositions. This year we released quite a few amazing features like composition functions, provider families, and observe only resources. We also did security audit that hardens cross-plane's posture and enables it to run everywhere, including massively large enterprises. I invite you to join the community and help us build the next generation of control planes or visit us at the Crossplane community booth in the pavilion. Hi everyone, I'm Mark Fussell, a maintainer on the Dapper project. Here's an update on Dapper, the portable event-driven runtime for building distributed applications. Dapper now has 10 API building blocks and over 115 components to build cloud-native applications. The two latest APIs are Workflow, to automate your business processes and cryptography to allow easy encryption and decryption of data. The community is thriving. We've now crossed over 3,000 contributors from a wide spectrum of organizations. Read a case study about de facto describing how they migrated to an event-driven architecture leveraging Dapper. Features to highlight include the workflow API on a path to stable, the outbox pattern to transactionally sync state with messaging, and component improvements to include hot reloading, health checks, and pluggable secret stores. With the latest V112 release out, expect much more from the upcoming releases. Come and visit our newly refreshed website and join our Discord community to engage with the online Dapper community. Have a wonderful KubeCon. Hello, I'm Gaius. I'm going to introduce Dragonfly. It provides file distribution and image acceleration based on the P2P technology. Let me introduce the milestones. Dragonfly provides a new console and it supports intelligent scheduling. The most important is the file distribution in AI inference. It supports Triton Server and Torch Serve to accelerate model distribution. Nidus supports for merging small data trunk and OCI reference feature. It supports for confidential image and use PowerFS to accelerate OCI image unpack. If you are interested in file distribution, image acceleration, and AI model acceleration, you can scan the QR code and follow the Dreamfly and Nidus.
Hi, I'm Mike Coleman, a developer advocate working on Falco, a CNCF incubating project focused on runtime security. I'm pleased to be here at KubeCon in Chicago to share a quick update. As many of us know, community feedback is a big part of open source projects, and our two recent releases, 0.35 and 0.36, really deliver on community input with a bunch of great new features, including adaptive syscalls, our modern eBPF probe, new observability metrics, and a bunch more. To get more information, check out falco.org, where you will also find refreshed documentation, updated getting started guides, and new user stories and use cases. And as always, a big thank you to our contributors and maintainers for their commitment. Now, if you'd like to get involved, you can find us on LinkedIn, GitHub, Twitter slash X, and Slack. Additionally, we're delivering in-person Falco workshops across the globe. So check out our website for dates and locations. Finally, there are a bunch of project maintainers and contributors here in Chicago, so come say hi and chat with us in the Project Pavilion. Well, that about wraps it up. Thanks for listening. Hello, KubeCon. My name is Neil Abogato. Welcome to the gRPC update. gRPC is a high-performance, open-sourced RPC framework introduced by Google and accepted as a CNCF project in 2017. It builds upon protocol buffers, its interface definition language, and supports multiple advanced capabilities, including proxyless service mesh. It has a large and growing list of contributing companies and developers, and is supported in multiple programming languages. It's been a very good year with the introduction of multiple releases with numerous new enhancements. Some of the exciting items delivered include improvements to the observability and proxyless service mesh capabilities, while also performing a documentation refresh, introducing many new pieces of collateral to ease the gRPC learning curve. To learn more, please watch the YouTube channel, visit the gRPC.io site, or join the mailing list to stay current on all things related to gRPC. Thank you, and take care. Keycloak is an open source identity and access management solution. Secure your applications and services using best practices and industry standards. We now support FIPS government security standards for cryptographic modules to keep your data safe. Our user interfaces pass the accessibility checks so everyone can use Keycloak. Want to secure Fort Knox? Try our latest builds with Fabi 2.0 and Depop to build a high security environment. Add your corporate identity to all UIs. Enjoy a flexible cloud-native experience with co-management of operator resources and integration with horizontal pod auto scalers. Look at blueprints on how we train Keycloak to recover from load surges, pod and data center failures. Attend our talks to learn more and meet the team at the Project Pavilion for a chat. See you soon. Hello, KubeCon Cloud Native Con Chicago. This is Evan Anderson with the Knative Project with some updates. For those of you who don't recall where Knative sits on the CNCF landscape, it provides developer-focused serverless abstractions that are modular so you can pick and choose the pieces you want. We've had three releases since the last update, so I've got a whole bunch of highlights here. First of all, all the CLI plugins are now released on Artifact Hub. Other components are coming shortly. You can now build functions on cluster using Tecton repeatedly. All the extension components have been moved to the aptly named Knative Extensions GitHub org. You can build functions on your desktop without needing Docker installed. We've also improved event type discovery on cluster and secured communications for serving and eventing on cluster. Lastly, we're applying for graduation in 2023. I'm recording this in August. Fingers crossed, we'll be graduated by November. And for those of you looking to learn more, take a look above at the links we've provided. Thanks. G'day KubeCon, my name's Andrew and this is the KubeVirt update. For those that don't know, KubeVirt enables you to run and manage virtual machines natively in Kubernetes. Our big news since Amsterdam is that we had our version 1.0 release. Highlights include enhancements to our memory overcommit, we introduced performance data sets and a flexible VM export API, you can now hot plug VM Nix, and we simplified the VM creation process. That's just to name a few, there's heaps more information in the CNCF blog, or on kubert.io. In other news, by the time you see this, we will have completed our first mentorship through Google Summer of Code, and we have a renewed focus on improving our contributor and onboarding experience, as well as our user guide. If you want to learn more, or interested in getting started, or are looking for a project to start participating in, we'd love to hear from you. You can find us at the Kubert booth, or all of our details are available on GitHub Kubert community. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. 
everyone, my name is Shannon Zhao and I'm a Caverna maintainer and a staff engineer at Namada. I'm here to give you an update on Caverno. Caverno is a policy engine that was built for Kubernetes that Caverno, all managed resources are native to Kubernetes and there's no new language to learn. Using policy as code, Caverno enables collaboration across developers, operators, and security roles. In the past year, Caverno has quickly grown to over 2 billion downloads and over 4,300 GitHub stars. With adoption from T-Systems, Deutsche Telekom, Wayfair, Yahoo, and several others. Recent features include enhanced software supply chain security, executing policies within the API server, or even outside of Kubernetes to integrate with other cloud native technologies. Engage with us by joining our Slack channels, community meetings, and sharing your experience with Caverno. Hey folks, this is CNCF Ambassador Prithvi Raj, and I'll quickly update you about the Litmus Chaos project. Litmus Chaos is a CNCF incubating project which helps you curate chaos engineering in a cloud native way. It's been into six years of development and has achieved 15 million Docker pulls recently. Let's talk about the exciting updates. We are live with Litmus Chaos 3.0 and the experience is simplified for the users with a brand new UI. Uh, the UI is resilience core centric. It helps you also get access to managed resilience probes and there's support for multiple chaos environments. Also, there's an organized chaos infrastructure which we have introduced by introducing environments. Next up, we also have an exciting update on the Litmus Chaos plugin for Backstage. The plugin's goal is to simplify developer experience for better access to Litmus and provide brief information on the Backstage UI. Lastly, you can join the Litmus community by joining the Litmus channel on the Kubernetes Slack. You can check out the contributing guidelines and all the resources available to be a part of the Litmus channel. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm David Cole from Susan, caller of the Home Project. What's a long haul? Long is a cloud-native distributed personal solution for Kubernetes. It provides highly available precision volume, incremental stage up and pickup, and close cluster disaster recovery. Also, it is platform agnostic. Exciting updates. Long one fire has been released in June. One of outstanding features, V2 Data Engine based on SPDK, provides better performance than the current engine. Long one to six. V2 Data Engine will become its experimental feature with complete feature set of a V1 Data Engine. Also, we will introduce object storage volume in Wata 6. Wata 6 is planned to release by end of this year. Want to know about our long haul? We should out to us or join our maintenance session. Thank you. Hey, KubeCon, my name is Byron, and I'm going to give you a quick update on NATS. If you're new to NATS, NATS has been designed to make building distributed applications a lot simpler. You can deploy and connect application components that span cloud providers, on-premise data centers, and edge locations. Uh, as a developer, you have access to messaging, streaming, key value, and object store APIs, all under one consistent security model. And the best part, when you ship to production, you don't actually have to introduce any new uh, components like uh, proxies and gateways and load balancers to scale and distribute your, your workloads. This past uh, year, we introduced uh, NATS 2.10. It has a bunch of new features, so check out the release notes for that. And we've shipped a new .NET client and a new Helm chart. Snap the QR code if you're interested in reviewing these slides and checking out the links. I hope everyone has a wonderful uh, KubeCon, and thank you for your time.